Well, guys, new refrigerator means that there's new organization that I also threw out quite a bit of things that had been kind of buried down in the freezer that needed to go. And it means that I've got room for some new things. So let's go Krogery. I had the pleasure of um, spending the past few days with family and uh, out of town. So it has been quite a rush. Uh, lots of plane uh, time and uh, also time um, spent giggling and reminiscing with family. It was so much fun. And uh, I'll probably stick a few little excerpts in. We stayed in uh, Homewood Suites and uh, it was right downtown, the perfect location. And uh, I got to, you know, we are spending uh, time with family and just enjoying the moment. We've had such a good time here in Kentucky and uh, needless to say, there's been no decorating and no cooking. So um, I just wanted to take a moment and say thanks to the family and uh, certainly thanks to you. I apologize for not seeing you this a part of this week, but you know what? I'll be back in the kitchen very quickly. Uh, I love this particular hotel in that uh, it's uh, very, very busy. Uh, this weekend has been off the chain with so many people. Uh, our breakfast and the whole to-do has been provided and uh, we're staying at a Homewood Suites. And I don't know if you've ever been to one of their locations, but this is certainly a very nice one. So uh, we have had uh, great service, everyone's friendly and uh, we're just enjoying it. So uh, I'm uh, checking out different designs of chairs because I'm on the search for a chair uh, that we're going to use in our, in our house in a, in a particular corner. And uh, you know, it's funny when, when you look at chairs online and you're searching for them, so often you don't know, is this gonna be a comfortable chair? Is this gonna be one that I can grab a book and curl up in? And so, that I think I found my chair. So I'm gonna show you a picture of it and uh, I can't wait to uh, order order one or two and uh, set it up. So I will see you soon. Okay, we're in Louisville. We're in the Bourbon District and this is a statue going into 21C Museum. Should be interesting. How many limos do you see that are glammed out? I mean, literally, it is glammed out. This is a limo for 21C. I'm impressed. You know, I like that glam. Mm, mm, mm. Check it out. We are in the 21C Museum and checking out all the sights and sounds. My brother-in-law told us that this was a place to see. The artwork is phenomenal. I'm gonna walk you through so you can see what we're seeing. Well, this is really interesting. It's made with cloth and all kinds of sewing materials. And the picture develops. This guy seems to be the popular, may even look like the artist because he seems to carry over from one shot to it. Um, 
So we are, uh, we're back and uh, being just a little lazy today, but when I went in the refrigerator and into the pantry, I had done a lot of cleaning in there to uh, get some things out and uh, check the dates, check the labels, do all those kind of things and uh, for the month and only to find I really left and didn't have much in there to put a meal together. So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go to Kroger's. We're going to uh, pick up what I'm going to prepare for dinner tonight. And you know, when, when you're out of town and you're uh, eating in different restaurants, uh, while if I like to go to restaurants with salad bars and if there's a salad bar, you know, I can make a meal off of that. Even though I kind of enjoy uh, eating some things maybe that I wouldn't normally eat. But uh, I do like the salad bars. I try to make sure that I get those veggies in. And uh, I guess that's something that we all need to do. No matter what your age is, uh, get the veggies in. So if you're the one preparing the meals for your family, you want to make sure that you are providing them with good vegetables. And um, if they don't like fresh vegetables, then certainly get good frozen organic vegetables and prepare those so that your family likes them. If, they're, uh, if they are good fresh vegetable people, then honey, work those salads every day. Now, when the vegetables are really perfect in the summer, I usually have salad every day and in fact even during the winter very often I'll have salad but not as frequently because I have to be honest with you we are tomato people and when the tomatoes have absolutely no taste I just don't buy them so, but what I'm going to do is to try a new technique that I'm going to take you through today I love sun-dried tomatoes now let's face it it's only 50 outside and it's about 12 noon and um, the likelihood of having sun-dried tomatoes today and over the next few days is not going to be very good because rain's coming in so what we're going to do is that we're going to stay with the process but we are going to prepare oven oven dried tomatoes and our oven roasted tomatoes that's probably the best way to call them oven roasted tomatoes and we're going to put them over some uh, some pasta some of it's going to go over the pasta some of it is going to be in a roasted tomato soup and I love tomato soup oh man give me some tomato soup with some grilled cheese mm -hmm. That is the best dinner ever in the evening when it's chilly. And it, in fact, it doesn't even have to be chilly. We love tomato soup. And so, uh, and we love the, the grilled cheese. Let me add that in. And so, um, we're going to do that. So, I'm going to uh, uh, Kroger's. Kroger's has some fresh baked bread because I have not had, had a chance this week to uh, prepare our daily bread and so uh, I'm gonna go with Kroger's bread today now I hope that you're gonna stay with us I hope that you, that if you have not subscribed that you're gonna hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so that you'll know every time I upload and um, I try to upload at least three times a week I do all things kitcheny, whether it's cooking, whether it's decorating, whether it's setting the table, whatever it may be related to the kitchen, that's what I do. And so this week, we're going to finish out the week with some good, delicious food for your family. So stay tuned. Well, let's go Krogering. Here we are at Kroger's, and uh, it's a beautiful day today, actually, to just be out. I've managed to get everything out of the car and back at the house. So what I'm doing 
is that I've kind of laid things out so that you'll have an opportunity to see what I've done. I've got the meat and the cold foods first, uh, some treats uh, that I'm going to put on the table and kind of set up a little candy section. And I also have some bread. Now you're going to see that's uh, beef cubes that I'm going to make some uh, beef soup with and some um, uh, salmon that I'm actually going to cook tonight. And I had a really good price on the salmon in the fresh section, marked down from $7.77 down to 4 So what a great price. Uh, the chicken breasts, um, they're very nice chicken breasts. They're nice and cold. I'm going to get all of that into the refrigerator. But probably that will make about four meals for us just out of that one bag. So I'm going to get those into the refriger into the freezer so that they can stay nice and cold. Now, you know, as you're preparing, you want to be able to uh, look at the meats that you have, be able to add the vegetables that you want. And don't forget, you need lots of vegetables with each of your meals as you plan. And you'll see that I'm popping those plastic bags into my brown bag because what I do is that I'll collect all the plastic bags and then take them to the store. Now, let's look at the goodies. We've got Starburst and uh, we're going to put them into these two candy containers that you see. I also have some Robin's eggs and uh, look at that little candy container that uh, looks like an egg. How about that? I found that at the Goodwill. And uh, it's just a beautiful container. So I'm cutting our Starburst open. And I'm going to put them in. I like the Starburst jelly beans. And in fact, I buy them probably all year. And um, Hubby can pass take them or leave them, you know, one of those deals. So pretty much the Starburst jelly beans are mine and the kids. I'll take some with me when I go to visit with them. And I usually leave a bag. If I go to the house, I leave a bag at their house. So there's our jelly beans. And these little Robin's eggs are so cute. They look like regular little uh, miniature eggs that you would prepare for Easter. Look at that container. Is that not gorgeous? $3.99. That's all it was. And it is lead crystal. So I'm going to cut one of the bags open. I really thought I could get both of the contents of the contents of both bags into the one, but I wasn't lucky enough to do that. So we'll get this first bag in and it's going to leave a bag for me to have for later. So let's pour those in. And uh, they are kind of uh, malted milk. If you like those, they're great. And both of these were uh, one, the jelly beans were two for four. The robin's eggs were two for five. So we've still got one yet to do. Peek over there in the back. You're going to see that I've got a loaf of sourdough bread, just big enough for this week's meals. And uh, so that's going to work out great. Now I'm going to move you along and you're going to be able to see uh, next the apples. These are beautiful honey crisp apples. And uh, <laughs> it was so funny. I got to the checkout and I was talking to the lady. The bag that the apples were in started to disintegrate. So I had to grab one of the regular uh, shopping bags and put the apples in. So we're going to get those apples into the tray. I've left the bottom open so that uh, when uh, the big guy goes to Aldi's, he always comes home with some kind of fruit, usually grapefruits. But uh, I'll leave room enough for him to put his selections down underneath. So. I'm going to put the apples on top and uh, leave the rest open. So that took a little bit. Look at today's blessings. 
I love this chalkboard. I actually made it myself. I found the frame and uh, took the glass, sprayed it about four times with chalkboard paint, and made my own chalkboard. Now here we have some lemons, and these are organic lemons, and uh, they have wonderful flavor and lots of juice. And that's one of the uh, Kroger Simple Truth uh, bags that you see. And uh, those products are all organic. So I'm going to take those. And I have another crystal container that I uh, also found the same day as I found the one that's shaped like an egg. So I'm going to put those lemons, I'm going to stack them up as much as I can. And uh, I think they'll look very pretty just sitting there, uh, of course, as decor, but also I'll be able to use them each night as I'm preparing dinner because we go through a lot of lemons each week. I use them for drinks. We use them for everything. Now, here's the part you're going to say, oh, my goodness, two bags of tomatoes, and they're two different kinds. One bag is a bag of the tomatoes on the vine that you find in clusters. And we're going to be using that to make a um, Mediterranean tomato cucumber salad. And uh, they were beautiful. And you know what I like about these is that they smell so good. So I'm going to get those. I'm going to put them over into a container. And uh, we're going to be cutting those up and actually using those tonight. So let's get ready with those tomatoes. Now in the other bag, I have about four pounds of Roma tomatoes. And we are going to oven roast those Romas. And we're going to make a pasta sauce with it and have it for dinner. So I'm going to place the Romas into this bowl because as you can see this bag is disintegrating as well so we're going to need to get all the tomatoes in there because they're not going to stay and plus two you don't want to keep the tomatoes in there because they'll start to get moist and get soft and they just won't last as long so let's get everybody back in the bowl and uh, we'll put them over on the chopping block so that we can get those sliced and ready to go into the oven now we've got our clusters, we've got our Roma tomatoes. You see that I had two large stalks of celery in the background, and here's the little Brussels sprouts, and they are ready to use in a dish. I love it. I love it. Now, here's my cues. Now I know a lot of people use the English cucumbers, and I do occasionally, but there's nothing like a regular cucumber, garden cucumber. So we're gonna be
grocery shopping. So blessings to you and yours.